Hi, I'm Joseph Cannell from Dusky Deer Bell Tent. Today I'm going to be talking you through one of our tents. The one we have here is a four metre bell tent. All our bell tents have zip ground sheets. Uh, canvas weight is 285 grams per square metre and the ground sheet is 540. Right, first things first, we're going to be talking about the canvas carry bags and the peg bags as well. I'm going to get these now. Okay. So, this is the canvas bag your bell tent will come in. Same colour as the bell tent, so it's the same canvas. Uh, it's an oversized carry bag, which is great because it's quite easy to get the bell tent in and out of, so that's a nice feature. Another nice feature of the carry bag is it's got a nice PVC base at the bottom, and that's on, in the inside of the carry bag. So, when you put your um, bag on the ground to get the bell tent back in, you've got a nice PVC base and then that stops it from any water coming in through the bag. That's, not, that's a great feature. Okay. Right. Your poles will come in the same PVC bag as what the ground sheet is made out of. So your poles come in this bag. Um, great heavy weight. Um, some Traditionally, tents to come, the poles will come in a nylon bag. Uh, this is easy to rip and doesn't have a very nice natural feel. Um, so we've got a nice heavy duty bag, it's a really good bag. With the sunlight and different light conditions, it's quite hard to actually get a good uh, picture of what the canvas colour is like. So if you take a look at my website, I've got a photograph in my technical photos gallery, which has a very uh, clear shot of the this canvas colour. This is a dusky deer centre pole. It's super, super heavy duty. It's 33 mil in diameter, and the steel is two mil in thickness. You also have steel inside the pole to keep the pole together. A lot of bell tent poles will have string inside. That's easy to break, so it's important that you've got a nice sturdy centre of it. Um, the poles we offer both on the 4 metre and 5 metre and as far as we're aware no other company offers a more heavy duty uh, centre pole than we do. Um, we focused on the on a good quality pole because you've only got two poles in the bell tent. You've got the A-frame and you've got the centre pole. So both those poles need to be super heavy duty, especially the centre pole because that's where the stress is. We've also focused on having a really heavy, heavy duty quality A-frame. Again, that has two mil thick steel. We do offer spares, so if you have another bell tent uh, with a uh, not so heavy duty pole, you can of course upgrade um, to one of our poles. Uh, important to check the size of the pole first, but if you want to upgrade to a heavier duty pole, we've got lots of A-frame poles, we've got lots of uh, centre poles in stock. You see a uh, bell tent guy ropes. Now they're all man-made. Uh, for a very good reason. We don't use uh, traditional uh, guy ropes even though they look nice and that's because uh, traditional ropes like sisal they shrink when wet and they also expand when they dry so you get a lot of tension on the tent. Uh, Man-made guy ropes which, which Dusky Deer do don't do that so that's a great feature. Also because traditional guy ropes take on a lot of water, they do get wet so they take a long time to dry out which you really don't want when you're packing down your tent. Uh, uh, traditional guy ropes are very weak. Uh, size of, for example, um, you would need to have uh, three times the thickness of size or to have the same strength as our, as our man-made guy ropes. These Dusky Deer Bell Tent guy robes have a breaking strain of 450 kilograms because they've got a 5 mil diameter so they're really strong and a really good choice for guy robes. We also have hardwood beach wooden sliders. We love them because they're a nice traditional look. They're very strong and they just add to the whole traditional feel of the tent. So really proud of our traditional wooden sliders really finish off the tent nicely.
Now let's have a look at the pegs. We do two different types of peg. These are pin pegs for the ground sheet and these stakes are for the guy line. They're 23 mm, uh, 230 millimetres in length and they're 12 millimetres diameter. They're also serrated which prevents them from coming out the ground and actually impossible to, to bend or to snap or break. So it's important to have super heavy duty pegs and all of our tents offer this. As well as offering um, such heavy duty pegs, we also offer a, an additional third set of pegs. As far as we're aware, at the moment anyway, we're the only company that offers as standard the third set of pegs. Now we use the third set of pegs to peg the elastic loops. So a lot of bell tents you don't have the third set of pegs so you would naturally hook the elastic loop underneath the pin ground sheet peg which isn't a good idea because if you get a windy day and especially if you've got soft ground any wind's going to start slowly pulling that peg out the ground sheet another reason why you don't want to hook the uh, elastic loop underneath the pin peg is because you don't get a good overlap on the zip so you've got that zip gets pushed up against the zip there so sorry the uh, canvas overlap gets pushed up against the zip and then any water that collects on it will then start wicking because it's pushed up against the zip through it and then it can start getting some moisture through the zip so with all dusky deer bell tents we provide a third set of pegs to peg the elastic loop so you simply have that, pull it out and peg the elastic loop separately. That way you've got a much, much, much stronger tent. I mean you've got three, three pegs instead of two sets of pegs, a much stronger peg and also you don't get the problem of water wicking through the canvas onto the zip because you've got a small air gap between the canvas and the zip so water just runs off and doesn't wick through the zip so there's no moisture coming in through it. Let's move on to the cable inlets. With all Dusky Deer Bell tents we provide cable inlets in the ground sheet. Now the cable inlet is under here. You simply, this you put a cable through, so the cable goes in there, you push it inside and then you peg it tight. So you it tight in there and then over the top you will peg with one of your third set of pegs over the top that way you can easily get a cable inside but you don't get any water coming in so great if you want to put a K, uh, power cable inside your tent if we move over to the ground sheet itself the style is a bathtub style ground sheet so if you get really bad weather the front of the, of the ground sheet is up so you don't get water coming in through the doorway but if you get a beautiful hot sunny day you can also peg the ground sheet flat on both sides using these pegs so you can peg the ground sheet flat and then you've got to, so you do it the other side as well to have a nice flat ground sheet so you've got both features, a bathtub and you've got a flat uh, ground sheet as well. use wooden ties to pin the door back. Um, this, I mean, you can, you can tie the door shut without using them, but it makes for a much more traditional look just to have a nice wooden button that we used to pin the door back with. just adds to the o overall traditional, authentic look of the bell tent. So we're always trying to have a really functional tent, but we also want to focus on, you know, traditional aspects of it. And we think we've achieved that with a lovely wooden tie there. All our bell tents have lovely wooden dollies. Some people call them dollies, some people call them tent knobs. Either way, they sit on top of the A-frame spike. Uh, most people, most companies will provide a plastic rain cap. We also provide this. But as standard, we also provide a lovely wooden dolly. It's ash, and it just really finishes off the tent nice. It looks traditional, it looks authentic, 
and it really sets off the whole tent beautifully. Uh, we're very proud of our dollies and we provide them as standard just to create that nice authentic rustic feel so that you want from a bell tent. Now we're inside the bell tent. As you can tell you've got a great bit of head height. I'm six foot. That's the top of the pole so I can't even reach it. So you've got a huge amount of, be of head height in a bell tent. And don't forget this is the four meter tent. The five meter tent's even higher so you've got even more headroom in the five meter tent want to show you a few of the features inside the tent we'll take a look at first the A-frame so this is the super heavy duty Dusky Deer 2mm steel A-frame we tied them in at the top so we've got ties to tie them in at the top so that prevents any movement of the A-frame and also we, tie, we have a really steady footing at the base so they're tied in at the base prevents any movement and they also go through a uh, a loop there so they're really well uh, secured in at the base as well so this tent has all the usual features that you get from all other bell tents so if you want to put an inner tent in we've got the inner ties that you can use and also the ties at the bottom so this bell tent's compatible with any other um, inner tents that you might want to use and we also have mosquito windows so you can open these let a bit of wind come in a little bit of air come in if you've got a baking hot summer's day also get some lovely light coming in but if you've got a bit of a colder night you can shut them up um, and you've got the net in so you're not going to get any bugs coming through so a really fantastic feature on the windows of the tent A lovely feature about canvas tents is that even on a baking hot summer's day, we're probably about 23 degrees today, it's lovely and cool because you've got the shade of the tent. Um, but if you did want to, you can also open the zips. Uh, so because it's a zipped bell tent, you can open the zips to let even more cool air through. So that's a nice feature. But it's also warm at night time, so you've got the double benefit. It stays cool during the day and it also stays warm at night uh, so that's a great feature of canvas you know it's a bit heavier than polyester but it's much much nicer much nicer environment to be in than a polyester tent it's somewhere you want to stay <laughs>